One day, I get an email. I had a Proton Mail account. Are you familiar with Proton Mail? Oh, that's like an anonymous one for like drug dealers and shit, right? <laughs> okay, so it's an encrypted email. <laughs> okay. I get an email from a guy. He wanted to, this is 2012. He wanted to meet me at a place called Lux Bar. Um, he said he had a job for me. He said the job was paying 52000 for five days. Up front, you get the entire payment. That's a good deal. Yeah, okay. Also, why the f would they pay you up front? Listen to this. I meet up with the guy. He shows me a, 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 a ID from the Pentagon. Gannon. He tells me that he does not trust certain people that he works with and that he needs me to keep him safe until he can testify in front of Congress. Oh, wow. Right? Mm -hmm. He shows me some pictures. He say, what does this look like to you? So I say, okay, so what am I looking at? He says, these pictures are on the surface of the moon. Gannon. He say, my job is to scrub these pictures to make them available to get released to the public. I'm like, okay. Then he asked me to sign an NDA. He pull out a, a little folder, unfold the paper, and say, I'm going to sign an NDA. I'm like, oh, okay. I always try to avoid that because to me, it's like you're agreeing or something. Mm. Right? Then the guy goes on to explain to me about some race of people who uh, live at the bottom of the ocean. They have facilities there. And... Uh, when I refuse this job... Sounds like a little mermaid, but... Until you hear these parts. Okay. Uh, I, refuse the, I refuse the gig. He tells me someone's occupying our, mule, our moon. I'm scheduled to testify as a whistleblower in front of Congress about this. Can you keep me safe until then? I had to turn the job down. As soon as I go outside, my car ransacked. Gannon. My car, for, for about three weeks, my car get towed. I go and pick it up, they give it to me for free. <clears throat> then, a lot of strange things was happening. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? And, uh, you know, this guy testified in front of Congress. And is he still alive? Yep. Sounds like if they were willing to do all that to you, that they would be willing to kill him, too. Or something to him. Yeah, 